Boys and girls, I got the radiator and the fan, so that's what we're gonna do today on this video. All right, as you know, radiator broke. Long star short, it broke. This is the old one, look at how thin it is. And I bought a new one, which is much lighter, and it's a little bit thicker. So, in here, now you can compare the difference, see? Uh, and this was done already, I mean, very old. So in this one, I could get the stock fans and install in there, but um, I'm gonna, uh, bet that those are not as efficient and I don't have space for that they are not as efficient as those ones which I'm gonna assemble in here a couple of them and dropping the car but before we assemble the fans I want to be sure that whenever I wherever I put the fan in here it won't touch anywhere and it looks like that if I go too close, it's going to touch. So I'm going to, um, for this side here, right? So the side where I have the holes on the bottom, I'm going to put the fan all the way to the right side so it doesn't touch anything from the turbo. Um, it looks like this will be fine. And on the other side, the other side, I'm free. I have, I have all the space in the world. This is the plan. One, we need to be here, right on the edge, and which is fine. And the other one will be here somewhere. All right. So we have those parts here. You must be familiar with those. Um, what we're going to do is so you get one of those here and then you spin like this and then go all the way to the back the where the water goes is inside those columns here not on this coil this coil is used to dissipate heat and that's what makes the water gets a little cooler uh, so we are gonna do like this find a little hole in there, find a little hole in here, um, and go all the four, put put them all the way down. But before putting them down, we have the spring. And so we put the spring first, so you have like this. And when you push this in there, th this is gonna touch this part and push a little bit. On the back, which is where we're going to receive this. This is like a zip tie, but it's like a, there's a name for this, a plastic boat, plastic screw or something like that. I don't remember. Uh, on the back, we're gonna have this here, which is going to receive and click it, right? Um, I don't know if we can reuse it. So once you do it, just do it for real. And we're gonna take one of those here. Um, we don't want this here to touch, um, the radiator because it's kind of hard so we might screw it with car vibration and stuff so we got one of those and put right in here like this so you get like that boom uh, the glue side does not go to the um, radiator the radiator receives the side that doesn't have the glue the glue gets in here and now on the back we touch this uh, rubbery foamy part on the radiator this goes all the way down and this is gonna push and it's gonna push it straight in the radiator uh, this kit also comes with some adapters like this um, which can be used 
to mount so instead of mounting in here uh, this gives us more space for the spring to work um, instead of here uh, so I'm going to to put those four in here I could put in here too if it was uh, if I get any advantage out of it but I don't I don't so it'll be here so it'll be one two three and four and they are just there um, they won't go anywhere and um, now we are gonna do this here so put one two three and four and don't forget the spring of course telling you that and I just forgot it um, it we got like eight of those I'm not quite sure why we have all of those but um, I guess we can also put between the spring and this here um, one of those I think is gonna make I don't know uh, less noise or something like that let's uh, do like this so this is the setup we're going to do right got it here put it in there So with this you gotta be uh, very gentle. Don't just shove this thing in there. Find your sweet spot first, and then do it. I'm gonna do the two top ones. Uh, I'm gonna get one more of those. Push it in there again. Look. Then put my spring in there, which is gonna keep this tight. Just be sure this is sort of aligned and boom. Done. So now I have the two top ones. See that? You go all the way to the end. There you go, and same thing in here. And now on the back, we're gonna tight, and you see here, the spring is gonna compress this, which is gonna make um, this guy stay in place like pretty good. So this is how it looks back here. If you see, um, the one I put the the protector thing, you just push it in there, it's like a zip tie, um, and then you just tie it a little bit. So you just get that spring like working pretty good. And we're gonna get the next one. I'm gonna just poke the hole so there's a little hole in the middle, and just align this guy in there. And same thing on the other side. So now we have this thing aligned pretty good. Push on the spring and there you go. Now you cut the excess, but this is how it looks now. Look. And this goes nowhere. All right, so that's set up. I'm gonna um, install the second one and then there's one more thing we got to do, which is um, replace the connectors because I'm, I'm not starting this by hand. So I will need to cut the connectors and install the original connectors from the original fans that are there. I'm going to cut those things in here um, and then solder in here. So the whole thing is there. I'm going to get this here. I'm going to cut right there. And what I'm going to do now, I got two zip ties. I am going to take uh, slowly, very carefully, a chunk of this thing. So I got the plus and the minus. So I'm going to get 
um, the connector that came with the fan. I'm gonna cut that and I'm gonna cut that and I'm gonna splice it real quick and all right so what I did is I spliced those the connector I had and I spliced those guys here I'm gonna split those in half black and blue half and half get on these guys here half and half too and now I'm gonna get the black one and I'm gonna join the halves this is gonna make a stronger connection and harder to uh, get screwed and now I got the two halves and then I'm gonna put them together there you go and here I'm gonna do the same thing one thing I forgot on the other one, I'm gonna leave it though, uh, is the heat shrink. Um, it's not gonna make waterproof anyway, but at least it's gonna make a little better um, the isolation between those two. I should put them both though, but I'm not gonna undo the other one because the wires won't like it very much. It's too, one is too thick. So, I think as a, the way it is, it's pretty strong. And then, hang on, change my mind. There you go. Two halves. Put those halves together and lay it to one side. No touches. Um, we got to heat shrink this guy. There are many ways. I mean, it's just putting some heat here, of course, is going to shrink that. This is not going to make waterproof, so we still need the tape in there. Uh, but this is definitely going to make this. Um, it, it won't touch one it one the other. Because this heat shrink is kind of thick. Um, so yeah. It's a, it's a good uh, protection for the wires. And just to finish, I am going to put some electrical tape. I'm going to cut a tiny piece and wrap around one of those. Just to make it a little thicker, a little stronger, um, just to isolate a little more. I don't think I need to. There you go. Just a couple times. And I'm gonna get uh, only a few. Laps here until it touches the other side. So at least this part um, that we made is waterproof. Um, yeah. All right. So this is the top of the radiator bottom, and it is tight in here. So I'm going to put up there. I'm gonna keep this here uh, tight enough or I can even put in here which will look good and let me just look inside yeah it would be fine and I can tie this guy right in here so I gotta get my zip tie in here, I'm gonna 
fish it. Put this guy in there. And tight. If it gets tight nicely, I'll leave it. If it not, we're gonna try something else. So yes. So this is perfect. See there's nothing, no play. Not that it would matter. And maybe one zip tie on this guy here and then we'll be golden which is going to be a light one right kitty kitty's right here there you go so you got a tiny one put it right in here and oh so we have here uh this comes with a the fan then here we did our joint Put right in there, uh, zip tie that in here. All right, that was one thing I wasn't expecting, but I figured that out. One of the connectors for the other fan, and it has four wires. Um, this is the negative, and this is the positive. And what happens is um, this here is for the low, and this here is for high. But what happens is when the high gets plugged, it plugs together. So let me show you how I figured that out real quick. So this is the old fan and those are the wires here. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna get those wires. I'm gonna put the fan here so it can run. And I do like this. So here we have black and blue and yellow and green right Maybe like that and I got this charger here and I'm going for black and blue so see how fast it goes okay now we're going for yellow and green what I'm going to do is on the fly I'm gonna plug so I'm going to start with the black and blue and I'm gonna to touch the green and yellow as it goes so check it out Does it make sense? So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, connect those two together and those two together, black and yellow and blue and green, and do the same thing I did on the other ones. Look, this is it. Here, the connectors here pointing up and the other side only a few things um, I think I cut enough so let's go there and play with it all right so that time uh, came which is right now that doesn't make any sense Okay, so let's drop this slowly there. <laughs> and nice. Okay. Yep, connectors. Oh, yeah, we need a little adjustment, but um, let me get the two supports that goes right in here so one is in here the other one is in there there you go I gotta get like nicer bolts for this it's 
it's not touching anywhere I have enough clears um, I got the nice uh, clamps for this <laughs> and this is how I broke the other radiator I was forcing this in and I was trying to force out actually and then boom it broke so yeah I'm gonna do like this so I can just screw and down there I have very little clearance but it's still clearance yeah check it out I think this is the last video before camera dies so I'm gonna plug this here on the bottom I'm going from the bottom because it will be easier uh, I'm also going to tight this guy here and then we are good to go the plugs are right here so we have a um, plug, plug coming out of here it's tight a little bit yeah look clap done take this out of there this means this is going to turn on when the temperature goes up and it will be the same on the other side I'm gonna tie this guy this is going to secure our radiator uh, everything else is secure we can start putting the liquids and I guess tomorrow we're going to start it alright guys so that's it radiator and fans finally installed um, that wasn't in the plans it broke but we did it two more things I keep always keep showing up two more things but then uh, fuel pressure regulator tomorrow and the gauges so we can see what's going on and let's do it let's get started all right so hit the like button comment share don't forget to subscribe and I will see you on the next video